Now we will do the min. Press the auto sum function and press min. So min it tells us the smaller the number. We select all these 24 cells and we get min number which is 3. We can see 3 in C8 and also in C6. Same thing for the other side. So we select these 24 cells and we press the enter key. Now we have all of these. So we are in this scenario. We want to find, we want to do the total again for C9, D9, E9. And it will be tiring if we keep on doing the same thing. So luckily, Excel, it has us covered. You see this little square that's colored in in the bottom right corner of the cell you drag it across how many times you want it and you see that just like magic it gives us it gives us what we need. we do this for all and our spreadsheet is basically done we carry on doing it for max and same thing for min and to see what happened, you just double click it and you see what it did. Now, let's do this. Now you see for the max function, double click it, it tells us the biggest number in these 4 times 6 grid. It does not include the B grid. You can obviously change that, but it will be helpful in the total. You see, it gives us the total of this whole C section. Now, let's do the same for this. We want to do it all the way until G8. Same for averages. And same for count numbers. Same for max. Just drag it along and min. The thing is about max and min when you do this, as you can see, when you double click it, it shows us this 6 times 4 grid and it keeps on going down. That's not useful for max or min, but for total, it helps. If you want to find the now, in this, we want to find the whole 3 area. So that is it for today. Today, we learned many things, such as the sum function, the average function, the count numbers function, max function, and min function. It's all in the auto sum area. It is at the top. Go to formulas, and auto sum is there. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for videos more like this. See you next time.